Many content creators out there use CapCut for their day-to-day -day editing because it's very simple to use. The interface is also very user-friendly, but they are unable to pay for the Pro version. If you are in this category, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use all the CapCut Pro features for free. And the good news is you are not downloading any sketchy software or using any cracked version. We are going to use the CapCut official software. Without wasting much of your time, let's jump right into the tutorial. If you miss any part of this tutorial, you're not going to get it right. So watch from the beginning to the end so you'll get it right. So open any browser of your choice and go to capcut.com. When the page opens, just scroll down. You're going to see a download button. Okay, just hit on that download button to download the software. This is actually the official CapCut page. So download the software and get it installed on your system so once you get it installed open the software as you can see just go ahead and open the software and the good thing about this method i'm about to show you is that you don't have to be signed in so it's optional for you to create an account or sign in so you can just download the app and follow this process i'm going to show you and you enjoy CapCuts pro features all for free so go ahead and create a new project uh, for this illustration i'm going to just use uh, a clip on my system so to create a new project just click on this um, you can see this box here you can drag and drop clips there or just tap on that please and you navigate to where you want to uh, get your clip for me i'm going to use this particular clip here Okay, so let me just drag the clip down so I can start um, editing the clip proper. So the very first thing I would like to do is um, to put some transition in between the clip. So to do that, I'll have to, you know, just cut the clip into like um, three. Let me just cut it in two places. So I'll drag this uh, to this point and click on split there. And I'll drag it to the other end and also split. So the reason for splitting the clip is so that I can put in transitions in between them. So place the cursor on the first split section and then look for transitions. Uh, let me just use the camera transition. Now take note that I'm, I'm going to use a CapCut Pro feature. Okay, you can see it's a CapCut Pro feature. You can see up there okay so i'll just go ahead and select this one this pull in so let me select it you can see you can see let me add it i'll click on that plus button so it's already there okay uh and as you can see if i play back you can see so but i'll just go ahead and increase the it's too fast so let me reduce the animation uh this thing so that to pull in in a very good way i'm just going to increase it here let me check it again uh let me increase it a bit this should be much better yeah this is better so let me give uh, this other side to um a good a good one so let me look for another um, cap cuts pro transition Okay, this is nice. Let me just add it. I also increase it so that it will look to come out well. Um, all right, this is this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Uh, what else? Let me just let me add. Um, let's say um, something else. Let me add another CapCut Pro feature. Okay. Okay, let me just add this filter all right i'll add a filter and also a sticker now all these things i'm adding are cap cuts pro items that if you are not following this procedure you have to pay before you can export your project but with this procedure i'm showing you you're going to enjoy them all for free okay so don't skip any part so i've added the subscribe button which is also a paid sticker it's a cap pro 
a sticker only for CapCut Pro users. So I'm going to add it also. So I've used two transitions, one filter and one sticker. And all of them are for CapCut Pro users. Okay, so let's see. That's the first transition. And um, this is the this is the second transition. And the sticker is there. The filter is on it. Okay, so now let's attempt to export this project. You see, we can't export it until we buy the CapCut Pro. That's the only option. You can see the list of all the CapCut Pro items we have used. Pulling, transition, this other one, uh, this filter, and then the sticker. So the only way is to join the CapCut Pro by making payments. But let's go back and let me show you where the magic is. So you need to ensure that you're done editing your project. So once you're done editing your project and adding all the effects and everything, you want to add all the uh, CapCut Pro features you want to use. Once you are done using everything, go ahead and select everything like this. Okay, select everything in your project. Then right click on it. Then you will see create compound clip. Create compound clip. So create compound. Click on create compound clip. So that to turn all those components into one compound clip. That's the first step. This is a very important step, so you need to do it right. Okay, now we have our compound clip. Everything now is inside this compound clip. Then go ahead and right click on the compound clip also. Then you're going to see pre process compound clip. Okay, pre process compound clip. The first one we did was create compound clip when you selected all your components and you turn them to compound clip. Then after that, you click on pre-process compound clip. Okay. Ensure you are following me. So when you click on that, it's going to take a while to process. You can see up there, it's applying the feature. And if you look closely here too, you can see that the percentage is increasing. Once that is done, minimize the software and locate where the CapCut logo is. And right click on it and go to properties. Okay. Properties. Just click on properties and it's going to bring this up. So click on this open file location. Okay, open file location. So once you click on that, it's going to take you to the CapCut folder like this. Okay, but we want to enter, we want to navigate to the CapCut folder. So you can either click on this arrow or you just go ahead and click on the folder straight up there. But I'm going to make use of this arrow. So you come back into the CapCut folder like this. All right. Go ahead and open the user data folder. You can just double click to open. All right. So you open. So once you open, just scroll down to project. Open the project folder also. As you can see on the screen, just go ahead and open the project folder. Once it's open, this first folder is where we are going to. So just open the folder. After opening the folder, head back to CapCut and check the name of the project you are working on. For me, it's 0728 and 1 into bracket, which is this one. So locate yours and open the folder. Okay. After opening that folder, open the resources, locate the resources folder and open it also. All right. Then the final page you're opening is this combination folder. Open the combination folder and voila the first video you are going to see here is the video you have worked on that is the video containing all the pro features you have applied for example this is mine and that was the first transition the second transition is coming you can see the this is the second transition and you can see the uh sticker down there isn't that beautiful this tutorial is going to save a lot of content creators so much money. So if you have any challenge with this tutorial, any section at all is not clear, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to be putting you through every aspect that is not clear. If this video is helpful to you, which I know it is, kindly like the video and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you and I will see you in my next video.